Hello Booktube! Today I'm going to explore the bottom of one of my Amazon wish lists and decide whether some of the books I have on there I want to keep or um, remove from my wish list. Um, so let's get going. I'm not going to be doing a try a chapter tag because this was a spur of the moment, so I'm just going to um, on site decide whether or not I want to keep the books or not. So anyway, let's get going. I'm going to try to do this in about 20 minutes or so. So let's see how it turns out. So at the very bottom is Steam Funk by Milton J. Davis or edited by Milton J. Davis and Balogan Ojitetti. Uh, this is probably a, an anthology similar to the uh, Griot anthology, which was about sword and soul, um, a subgenre of sword and sorcery in which um, inspiration is drawn, drawn from um, African and African-American culture. A steampunk is likely to be a similar um, a drawing as basically steampunk, drawing inspiration from African and African-American culture. I wasn't fond of Grio, so I think I'm going to uh, remove it from my wish list. And I'm not going to list any of the books because I'm basically going to be removing them as I do so. Um, the next one is Epic Legends of Fantasy. Uh, this is an anthology edited by John Joseph Adams and Georgia R. Martin. Um, probably mostly John Joseph Adams because George R. R. Martin pretty much is an incredibly busy man. Um, I did kind of dip into the table of contents and I wasn't too impressed, so I'm going to pass on this one too. Next is Nova by Samuel R. Delaney. This is one of his uh, famous uh, science fiction novels. Um, I really need to give some Samuel R. Delaney a go, a uh, reread. Um, I have some of his work, um, not Nova. And I think I'm going to give this one a go. So I'll keep this in my wish list, although I might maybe focus more on picking it up used rather than from Amazon. Because most of the Delaney I have are in older mass market paperbacks. The next two are the first two books in the um, Divine Cities trilogy by Robert Jackson Bennett. I read City of Stairs, I think, and Belled on it, and I wasn't too impressed. So I think I'm going to go boot these two, as well as the third one when it pops up. And then I think I'm also going to go boot the Foundry Side series, too, because I skimmed the first book in that series and I didn't like it either so we'll see if it um pops up so you're gone you're gone it's taking a bit of time to go but if i don't want the first book in the oh okay you're gone next is a shadow magic um part of the have mercy series by jada jones and danielle bennett um, I have, wait, let me see here. Okay, I think I have Have Mercy. So I think I'm going to go ahead and boot it. Um, and eventually I'll get to Have Mercy. And then if I like it, I'll remember to look up the rest of the series. But I think I'm going to go ahead and boot it because it's actually not even... Uh, available except in news so I'm gonna boot you next is a spider light by Adrian Tchaikovsky I'm not um, so I have some of the first few volumes in his shadows of the app series and I looked at the first book and I wasn't too impressed with it so I don't know if I really should give this a go or not but I think I'll keep it and um, at some point hopefully I will remember to do a try chapter tag um, version of the clearing the wish list and have a look at it 
Next is Gods of Nabin um, by K. Johansson. Uh, this is the fourth book in, I think, a series of hers that's been ongoing. I have the first book in the series and I haven't gotten to yet. Um, I really need to. actually need to figure out what I did with it. <laughs> so anyway, but I'm going to go ahead and boot this one. And if I get to the first book in the series and like it, then I'll add it. But otherwise, no. So let's boot it. Next is Slaves of the Switchboard. Um, yeah, Slaves of the Switchboard of Doom, a novel of Retropolis by Bradley W. Schenck. I hate that cover. <laughs> um, so a lot of these books um, I put in here in like 2016, so well past time for me to uh, clear them out. And I think I'm just going to pass on this one. And I will be passing on A Tyranny of Queens by Foz Meadows. Um, I have the first book in this um, duology, and I dipped into it a few months ago for a tri chapter tag, and I hated it. So I think I'm going to toss this one. Next is Turbulence by Samet Basu. Um, I want to say a more recent novel of his appeared in my last um or one of my last um clearing the wish list uh videos so mm, i think i'll boot this one too because it's been in here for a while so next is sephiroth's hand a pattern of shadow and light with book one in a series by melissa mcphail um i'll boot it Next is Tinder, a short story collection by Sophia Samatar. Um, I read or bailed on one book by her and I really didn't like it. So I'm going to pass on this one. Next is Valley of Embers by Stephen Kelleher. Um, mm, I believe I will pass. Next is The Gathering of Ravens by Scott Odin. I think this is a historical fantasy, and I think I will pass. Next is The Rebels of Gold, part of the Loom Saga by Elise Kova, um, which is still somehow $35, even though it came out uh, years ago. Hmm weird i have the first two books in the trilogy i think it's a trilogy uh largely because one of the covers um i think the cover for the second book has a shirtless male elf on it that was yeah um but i've never gotten to them and i'm basically thinking i'm just going to go ahead and pass on them um at some point so i'm going to go ahead and Boot this one from the list. Uh, next is Blood of the Four by Christopher Golden and Tim Levin. Um, this is an epic fantasy. Um, a lot of these I saw uh, on um, SFF 180. Um, so I've been subscribed to him for a while because I would get pretty much all of my science fiction and fantasy rec or upcoming science fiction fantasy from him. Um, some of them I would eventually pick up, and a lot um, have just languished at the, in the depths of this Amazon wish list for a while, year or so. It's a good thing I'm clearing a lot of them out. Anyway, so I'm going to boot. Next is um, The Wrath of Empire, Gods of Blood and Powder, uh, book two by Brian McClellan. Um, I had the first volume in this series, I think, and I skimmed it, so I don't think I want to keep this one here, because um, I am planning on getting rid of the first book in the series, whatever the hell it was. Next is Devil's of Night Dawning, um, part of the Broken Stone Chronicle series by Damian Black and Red Raven. I'm going to boot. 
Next is Daughters of the Storm by Kim Wolkins. Uh, no, I'm going to boot. Next is Area X, the omnibus edition of the Southern Reach trilogy by Jeff Vandermeer. This trilogy is um, Vandermeer's breakthrough, I think. Um, I mean, he had some works before this, um, but and some editorial work, but I think this trilogy really brought him to prominence, and I think I'll keep it um, until I have a go at his um, Ambergris novels, because I have an omnibus of that. Next is The Interminables by Paige Orwin. Um, I don't remember much about it, so I think I'm going to boot it. Next is The Last Song Before Night, um, an epic fantasy, I'm assuming, by Ilana C. Meyer. Um, I think I'm going to boot. So clearly you can see from this that um, I was a science fiction and fantasy fan for a long time, and I added a lot of science fiction and fantasy to my uh, list. Um, some of which I got to, and some of which I have languished again. Uh, next is um, Symiosis, um, which is for some reason a part of a duology by Sue Burke. I want to say, I, did I read a short story version of this? I don't recall, but I think I'm going to... Wait, I actually think I have this in my Libra's wish list, and since it's basically seems to be only used, um, I think I want to boot it from here and then just pick it up maybe eventually from a Libra's if I remember, and assuming I don't uh, boot it from there too at some point. Although booting things from my Libra's wish list is a bit more of a pain in the rear end than it is from Amazon because, or Book Depository, because Amazon will have to do delete it and they remove it. A Libras, they basically send you to the top of the page. And then you have to work your way back down. The next is The Warrior Within by Angus McIntyre. Uh, I'm going to boot it. And I... A Man of Shadows by Jeff Noon. Mm, I think I heard this one's a bit of a weird one. Um, so mm, maybe I'll keep this one. Maybe if the next time I come down to the bottom um, and it's still here and I haven't picked it up, then I'll boot it. Next is City of Miracles. Um, another one, I think it's the final volume in uh, the Divine Cities trilogy by Robert Jackson Bennett. Since I already booted the first two, I will boot the third. Next is Wonder Blood by Julia Wicker. I think I will be, uh, purge you two. Next is Stars and Chain and Chartered by S.K. Dunstall. I think I'll keep this one. And I think I will also keep uh, The Blood Mirror by Brent Weeks. Um, I have a few volumes of the Lightbringer series and I really need to get to them. So I guess, yeah, The Blood Mirror is basically as long until I get around to, uh, yeah. When I decided about that series. Um, next is The Lost Queen by Sikhan and Pike. Uh, I think I'll get rid of. Um, the Freeze Frame Revolution by Peter Watts. I think this is a very slim space opera um, that I, I think I would like to get. So I think I'll keep it on here. As well as I think I'll keep um, Gate Crashers by Patrick S. Tomlinson, or maybe hold off until I do another, more of a tri chapter version of this than just on site booting. Next is Rejoice, A Knife, in the, A Knife to the Heart by Steven Erickson. Um, I think I will boot. Um, until after I've decided what to do with Malison. The next one is Free Chocolate by Amber Royer. This is a humorous science fiction novel. Um, 
that I think I can go ahead and boot. So next is The Wild Dead by Carrie Vaughn. Um, not entirely sure what it is, so I'll boot. The next book I think is actually a work of uh, general fiction or literary fiction. It's Telling the Map by Christopher Rowe. Uh, I think I'll save this one for a proper try a story tag, although it'd be more of a clearing the wishlist version than um, having it. But anyway, and I think I'll also keep What's Left of the Night by Ursi Soteropoulos and I think translated by Karen Emmerich. I want to say this is a historical novel about uh, the Greek poet Cavafy. Which I really need to pick up some of his poetry. Next is a return to fantasy with City of Crows by Chris Wormersley. I'm going to boot. And then we have The Space Unicorn Blues by T.J. Barry. I think again this is a work of humorous science fiction. Um, I think I will boot. And I will boot One of Us by Craig DeLuey. And then there is Reign of the Departed, The High and Far Away, Book One by Greg Keyes. I think I will boot you two. And then there's The Thousand Names uh, by Django Wexler. Um, I have a, a book by him that's more recent, I think. So I think I'll eventually hopefully get around to that one and then decide whether or not I'm going to go back or not. So I'll go ahead and boot it. And then we have Octavius Brood, Science Fiction Stories from Social Justice Movements by, or edited by Walida Imarisha and Adrian Marie Brown. This is, I'm assuming, a science fiction anthology um, inspired by the work of Octavia Butler. And... I think I will keep it and have a look at it before I decide whether or not I want to boot it. Next is The Long Way to a Small Angry Planet by Becky Chambers. I think I will leave this in the list. Um, Six Weeks by Mer Lafferty. Uh, I think I'll leave this one until I do a um, proper, like, try chapter version of the clearing the wish list. Next is Salvation, a novel um, by this part of the Salvation sequence. I think this, this is one of Peter F. Hamilton's more recent space opera um, series. And I think I'll keep it. Next is Graveyard Shift by Michael F. Haspel. I will boot. And then there's The Long Way Down by Craig Schaefer. I think this is probably an urban fantasy series, and I think I will boot. And then there is Sworn to the Night, which is a part of the Wisdom's Grave trilogy by Craig Schaefer. I will boot. Uh, next is Temper by Nikki Drayton. Um, I think I will boot this one. Uh, no, I think I will save it for a proper tri chapter tag a version of clearing the wish list. Uh, next is Redemption's Blade, um, again by Adrian Tchaikovsky. I think I'll save this one. And I think I will save a World Shaper by Edward Willett and The City Born, which is also by Edward Willett. Um, Black City Saint by Richard A. Nark. Mm, I will boot. Uh, the Winter Road by Adrian Selby. This is, I think, an epic fantasy. Uh, I really did not like his... Um, the one novel of his I tried, so I will give this the boot. Uh, the Weird, um, which is an anthology by edited by Jeff and Ann Vandermeer, I will keep because I really do want this um, anthology. Uh, the Very Best of Caitlin R. Kiernan. 
and also the dinosaur Taurus by Caitlin R. Kiernan. Um, I'm going to boot both of them, largely because for some odd reason, the dinosaur Taurus is like $91, which is exorbitant, and no, I will not pay for it. Uh, Thin Air by Richard K. Morgan, I will boot, and I think Breach, I will boot, is by W.O. Goodwater. And then we have The Dragon's Legacy by Deborah A. Wolf, I will boot. I will also boot um, Nightwise by R.S. Belker. And uh, maybe I'll keep We Sold Our Souls by Grady Hendrix. I've wanted to try him for a while, so I'll keep him. Uh, Fading Sun by Stephen Lee. Um, I don't know if I have anything by him in my collection or not. Um, but I think maybe I ought to keep it. And the nine, uh, which I think, I think this one and the nine are probably epic fantasies. By this one is by Tracy Townsend. I think, uh, I think I'll keep. Um, Athena's Champion uh, by David Hare and Kath Mayo. I want to say this mm, might be young adult. I don't know, but I might keep keep it and see. Then there's a Discovery of Witches by Deborah Harkness. I think I'll keep and do a try chapter tag. Uh, next is Fascination Memoirs, Simeotex, Native Agents by Karen Killian and Andrew Durbin. I will boot. And then I think I will end with The Blackest Heart, um, the second book in the uh, Five Warrior Angels series by Brian Lee Durfee. Um, he's a science fiction fantasy writer who is also on uh, YouTube. Um, and I think a number of um, science fiction and fantasy oriented booktubers sort of are rather fond of his channel and his work. I have uh, the first book in the series uh, somewhere. I don't know if it's on my shelves or if I've got it in a box that I kind of need to get to. Because um, I really wanted it when it first came out and I just never got around to reading it. So I think I will keep it and stop here for now. So that was pretty good uh, clearance, I would say. Um, and yeah. So I will go ahead and sign up for now. Um, I'm thinking everything looks good power wise um, in Texas. So I think I should be able to do maybe, um, certainly I should do week, be able to do weekly reads tomorrow, um, depending and hopefully things go well with my reading tonight. I did have a bell redemption, so that was that's great and I can't wait to talk about it, but I have another one on the go for today. So see how that goes um, and that will determine probably when I do weekly reads tomorrow and then what I read over the weekend and some other plans. But anyway, so I think that's all. And I, I'm starting to ramble, so I guess I'll just sign up for now. So thank you, BookTube. Um, hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I will see you tomorrow with weekly reads and maybe another video. So until then, thank you. Have a great afternoon. Stay warm and stay safe.